Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Thought I would sit down and do a video for you guys and gals. Let me give you guys a bicep shot before we get started. Uh, Mount Biceps. Alright, let's get this video rolling. And yes, for those who are unaware, that's an old joke I used to do a decade ago, brought it back. I'm, I'm having a little fun in myself. I know that my biceps are not my best muscle group. In fact, I've torn one of them previously, right? You see that scar? So just to get that out of the way, I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun. Don't take it too serious. Unless you want to take it serious. Some, some of the people chimed in and said, I don't know, your arms are actually looking pretty decent these days. But, and I appreciate that. Thank you for noticing. I have been doing a lot of strict curls, including preacher curls. So let's talk a little bit about considerations as we get older when we train. Um, I'm 47 years old. I've been doing this a while. You guys have seen me move some pretty big weight. So when I make these statements, let's be clear, past the age of 45, you have all seen me squat at least 500 pounds raw. In fact, my last meet, I did 496 with no sleeves. It's a master's two on the platform. You guys have seen me pull over 600 multiple times, including out of that. You guys have all seen me pause bench 365 for a two second pause on my chest. You know, decently heavy weights. I'm not the best, but I'm pretty decent for an old dude. Not bad. I'll take it. So, when I talk about this on people to understand, I am not saying, oh, you should only train light, don't train heavy. It's not what I'm saying. But what I am going to say, as we get older, one of the things I've observed in both myself and my clients, because I promote longevity under the barbell, that's a big part of my marketing. Yeah, I use the, the dad bod to daddy thing and all of that. But it, to me, it is about longevity under the barbell. It's the ability to train hard for your entire life. We're lifting for life, guys. It, this is a way of life for many of us, hopefully for all of you listening, if it's not already, it will become a way of life. So how do we stay in the game past age 40? Um, things I've noticed, there are simply things that we don't handle as well and certain changes that we have to make to our life. And some of this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piggyback off of other people I've heard over the many years. Um, even some people I don't even get along with and see how that works. I can still give credit where credit is due. Uh, so. One of the things I've noticed, we cannot handle as much truly heavy lifting. In other words, your overall training is as Louis Simmons pointed out. He's like, you know, if the lifters get older, they actually, in my opinion, they need a little more volumes. And he didn't mean, you know, we're doing 100 sets. He means uh, they need to do a little more pump work, more pump work, more advanced you get as a lifter. You just, you can't get under a 500 pound barbell squat that often you just can't right we know this our joints and tendons get beat up faster and a lot of it has to do with shifts in hormones a lot of it has to do with things like different igf1 different uh, growth hormone levels and trt will not fix this so people say well you could talk about hormones but i can just go to the doctor no you can't getting your testosterone to the levels it was when you were 20 has a lot of perks think it's a real good idea for most people unless your doctor thinks otherwise I think it's a great idea it's not a hundred percent fountain of you right it's not going to fix everything your tendons and your joints are still gonna be 45 year old tendons and joints they will not take the beating that they could when you were 25 they just won't they get inflamed faster the heavy weights beat us up faster that has been my experience. So therefore, we, we can still lift heavy. You guys see me lift heavy. I like to lift heavy. But we can't do it as often or with as much volume. A lot more of our training does have to go to a little higher rep in that 8 plus rep range. Okay? It just simply does. You'll feel a lot better. And those who say, my arm doesn't, I'm like, mm, go do it for three months and then come back. You guys here are hitting a ton, bunches of triples, threes and fives all the time on your big lifts. 
go do some eight to 12 reps, some 15s, do, do it that way for, for three months and then come back and tell me, tell me I'm wrong. I challenge you, you're gonna find it's true, okay? Same thing with the frequency. We, we don't handle the frequency as well. I noticed when I was trying to bench twice a week and I had to quit doing that. I've got over to chest pressing once a week. I don't train my quads or any sort of squat pattern more than once a week. Do it all once a week. Your joints feel way better. They will not handle that high frequency, particularly that high frequency of heavy lifting. They will not tolerate it anymore. This has been my experience. You're gonna hurt a lot less. Man, if people don't wanna hear this, like, coach, you were the chosen one, you're over here. Are you telling us to train a muscle once a week and do more high rep work? What happened to the full body five by five? Well, if you're not a novice and you're over 40, I'm probably gonna say this is not the best approach. Just not. You probably should be doing more of a split. Probably should be doing a little more reps. You probably should be saying, you know, how many sets of heavy squats can I really handle a week? Your joints will tell you, they'll let you know. Okay? The other thing, diet in. This comes back over to all of that. As we get older, our ability to assimilate protein reduces. And I think, and I could be wrong, it starts as soon as your 30s. You need more protein to maximize not only muscle growth, but recovery, connective tissue, collagen synthesis, all of these things. Once you're in your 40s or 50s, your protein needs go up. All right, and the other thing that's been noted as we get older, protein becomes less palatable. And this has been noted by some doctors. We just don't like the taste of protein foods quite as much as we get older. So you're gonna to have to be mindful of it. Increasing that protein intake, which will also help your overall metabolic rate. Help your metabolic rate a bit. And then, you know, you guys remember uh, Steve Shaw? He and I had a falling out uh, and he still said something many years ago and irrespective of whatever personal differences he or I had, he was right. See how that works, guys? See how giving people credit works? Doesn't matter whatever happened between us. If the man is right, he's right. That's how it works. And he nailed it. And I remember him saying this. He had said, you know, guys, as you get older, this flexible dieting that fits your macros, you're going to feel like crap. He was right. He's right. He's a little older than me, so uh, not by a lot, but I think he's a few. He called it a, a little sooner than I did. I found that to be true. The more junk you work into your diet, the worse you feel as you get older as you're trying to train. You've got to clean that diet up. You've got to really limit those, those cheats to actual cheat days, not stuff you work in every day. You really need the antioxidants. You really need the phytonutrients. You really need all those things in your diet from whole clean foods. You benefit from it more. You, simply, you need that higher antioxidant status in your diet, along with the higher protein. Okay. Do it, and I promise you, you, you'll thank me for it later. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.